Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about cytosolic receptor protein pharmacology. So here is a cell, and this cell can have within it protein, and this protein can bind to a ligand. In this system, the ligand can actually go through the membrane and bind to the protein, eventually leading to the protein do some job or stop doing its normal job effect. The process usually ends with this activated protein going to the nucleus and change the gene expression of this cell. The protein has to get to the nucleus, mRNA has to be made, and mRNA will result in protein production. And this whole process takes time, so this way of activating uh, signaling is a little bit slow. But the protein can stay and do the job depending on the half-life of the protein, result of this activation can have a long-lasting effect. So here are some examples. The first one is a Gleevec. Second one is Tamoxifen. And the third one is various hormone. So Gleevec can go through the membrane and bind to a cancer protein and inactivate it. Tamoxifen is estrogen-like molecule can go through the cell membrane and bind and result in cancer inhibition. And like estrogen, which is what tamoxifen is trying to be like, many hormone molecules can also go through the membrane and bind to their receptors. These hormone receptors can go to the nucleus and the changes in expression. My favorite, HNF4A, which is a transcription factor. It's ligand bind to it and HNF4A can change the expression of this cell to gear this entire cell for gluconeogenesis and the lipid metabolism. So it's a make energy mode switch. Finally, 16% of all pharmaceutical ligands target cytosolic receptor proteins.